Hey, this is Palmer from Bank the Trade. And the reason uh, that there's no YouTube discussion thread in some of the videos, uh, it's because I just, I want to keep everything in one place. And I, jumping back and forth from Twitter to YouTube to email to other places to answer questions, it, it just takes a lot of time. So if you want to comment on a video, you can come to my website here at bankthetrade.com. And there is a discussion link where I'm, you know, I post information on trades and there's some feedback in here. So if you want to talk about something specific uh, per trade or per trade video, just drop me a line. This is a, a discuss thread, so uh, it's very easy to sign up for. And if you want to comment on anything, just uh, post it here in my uh, discussion link. All right. Thank you. Hey traders, it's Palmer from Bank the Trade and awesome calls. And there was there was so much going on this morning in the room that you know money was it was almost it was it was being handed out. Okay, um, I had a few screw ups. Um, one because of my my trade entry was still set to pre market, and when I tried to enter a trade the stock had moved uh, 50 cents already but I'm gonna go over that uh, but OSTK um, now if you're in awesome calls there's you know things can happen fast so if you know if you're watching a couple stocks and they're moving a little slow or they're not doing what you expect and on some other stocks that initial move is already over there's always the chance of getting in on the secondary move okay the initial move on OSTK was to short uh, this area the 79 uh, to 80 area right here okay and this happened right at the open it had a nice like two point drop within just a few minutes boom you're out okay this is the secondary move right here the move back up all right now OSTK it's got its own kind of persona and if you're in awesome calls you learn what that is it's it's wash rinse and repeat there are so many people making so much money on this one stock um, it's 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 pretty incredible so Getting back to that secondary move, if, you, if you're watching a couple stocks, you know, you're, there's a dozen watch list plays or so almost every day, 10 to 12 plays. And it's really, it can be a little bit difficult to see them all at the same time. Okay, so you have to key on news events that you like, chart patterns that you like, maybe in a, a stock price that you like, find something that fits. Okay, if the stock is too expensive, OSTK can be a volatile stock. It's 80 bucks a share. It can have 60, 70 cent price moves in one single bar. It can scare the hell out of you. All right. And if you're in heavy, it can scare the hell out of you really quick. All right. So the stocks I was watching, they weren't setting up the way that I wanted them to, or they were moving too slow. I couldn't get a feel for them. So the way I think is I'm going to wait for the secondary move on something. Okay, I might not get there as soon as possible, but if I can get some of that move, I'm going to see what I can do. And this is what happened with uh, OSTK. Um, and, the, you know, I missed the initial, initial move down, saw what was going on on the bounce up, got in with 100 shares, got in with another 100 when I saw the volume coming in and got out the next bar. Uh, this was whatever this average it maybe 60 or 70 cents it was a 200 shares it was just under three hundred dollars so uh, quick math right there and that that was it okay so that's your point point and a half sorry I'm watching Juno also um, but uh, so I got out all right now this stock it's got its own personality like I said it'll make a move up then go into a grind mode and it can move a certain direction from there so when the stock settled into its channel mode and it sort of was telling me that it found support around this 79 area I was looking to get in and get in a little bit heavier for a move back up 
to return, you know, to at least this high of day right here. And I got in and then a few minutes later, I had a knock on my door and the surveyor showed up, which I totally forgot he was coming by. So I, in lieu of putting in a hard stop, which you know how those things work, um, I just decided to mark it out and the stock runs, but you know, that's, that's the way it goes. All right. So I was kind of aggravated with myself. I'm, I went in heavy because this is the pattern. I talked about this pattern in the ENR video from yesterday. Today's the, uh, the fifth. So I was talking about this on the fourth that when a stock has already filled its gap or it hasn't filled its gap and it's making this curl back down, it holds. This is a good indication that the stock's going to keep going. At least to me, that's what the way I read it. It doesn't always happen. So I go in a little bit heavier looking for a move back up. All right. And I missed it. I got what, you know, 20 cents right here because of the knock on the door. And because the stock is so volatile, I didn't want something like this bar to happen on me while I was talking to somebody at the front door. So either way, I got out and this, this ran. It's running now. There's... Not going to cry over spilt milk, but it ran five points on that. All right. It is what it is. Made a little bit of money on that. Uh, DNLI, this one, this is what you're going to get in awesome calls. And you're going to learn why AJ has these, num these stocks on his list because of the potential for stocks to move down like this in a few minutes. Okay. This stock was a 100% short. There's no buying on this at all. Just put your market order in, sell it, you know, pre-market, you could, no, no market orders, but limit orders, and you still would have banked on this drop at least, you know, at least a full point. A little more, buck fifty on that, and th these happen quick. This is the way this stuff goes. Uh, Juno, this was a rescue trade for me. I'm still in it, still going to see how it goes, because this is the trade that I missed out on. I was watching this area right here for this move up, and my platform was still set for extended hours. So when I tried to put a trade in right here, I got an error saying that this message is or this trade's not going to go through because of this button was set to extended and not day. This is when I tried to get in right here because quick move down. This is just like OSTK. All right. Move down for a short right here, or even you could have this could have been a one of the same thing as the ENR trade yesterday. Same, same, same pattern. All right, stocks filled its gaps, going to come back up. All right, so there were there were there were so many different plays on this in just the first 30 minutes. You could have sold it here, bought it here, then sold it again here. Okay, but now this is the pattern that I was looking for. All right, this stock had a few upgrades today. The market's up. The chart, daily chart on this looks really good. So I am thinking that this move back up is going to continue from here. So I went in with 700 shares. Okay, now note the range on this stock. $49, $48, a dollar. Let's go back to OSTK. Look at the range on this stock. 70 almost ten dollars okay smaller entries to begin with but this price was holding so i went in kind of heavy right here but you have to know the personality of this stock all right juno a little less range so going in little this is 700 700 shares but a little less range okay so down here so i was down four or five hundred all right, so now just reading the chart, reading the previous history, price came all the way back down here. So I'm loading up with 100. I came in with 1,000 shares here. I'm up about 320. We're going to see what happens, what happens with this trend line. If this, if this is going to tank, then I'm out. All right, but either way, this is a rescue trade because... I saw this support, support, a little bit of volume coming in. It's still held right here. It's still held right here. Good, good. There it goes. All right. 
I'm going to watch this area right here. If this breaks, I'm out. But I'm still going to bank probably 250 or, you know, just under $300 on this trade. So, but this is awesome calls. This is how this stuff works. So if you want to learn the reasoning about these price areas and why they're in the list and how you can really learn how to make money trading, learn about the market from real traders, awesome calls is where you need to be. All right. Take care. It's Friday. Have a good weekend.